Hello everyone, so in this video I am going to show you how to get audio inside an application and then play it and pause it with the help of two buttons like this. Alright, so first we open the application, now hit play, then we can hit pause and then play pause. You can do anything with it, just play with it and that's how we are going to create the application. So without any further ado, let's get started. My name is Samihan Savant, also known as Sam and welcome to the channel. Alright, so first of all what we'll do is we'll bring the particular audio or music inside the project. So we'll just go to app and resources. Now we'll just right click on resources, go to new and then android resource directory. Once this tab is open, in the resource type we'll just select raw and then hit ok. Now see as raw is created, we'll bring the audio file inside raw. So I'll just minimize this, see this, I'll just drag it here and move to raw and hit ok done now you can see this file inside now now the extension if it is wav or mp3 both will work so you don't need to care about that once you have brought the file inside this now the first thing we'll, that we'll do is we'll just normally play the audio now you don't have any particular view like a uh, video video view you have it right you don't have any view to play audio so we'll just have to write a few lines of code for that now first of all what we'll do is we'll go to the java file here we'll create a media player now media player object name will keep it media player equals to media player dot create now first of all we'll have to write the context which is this application right so this then comma r dot raw dot birds and then semicolon then this will create the media player and now we'll what's the object name media player right so we'll type media player dot start then now here if you run the application when the application starts so as we have written this code inside on create as soon as the application starts the music will play only once now we want to control the music right we want to play it and then we want to pause it so what we'll do is we'll first of all create two buttons to play and pause the application i'll just delete this first of all we'll take one button here i'll just center it vertically and then i'll center it horizontally horizontally i'll just bring it here and then we'll take another button I'll keep it here like this enter vertically in parent and we'll just and both of this here done now we'll just name this button play now we have to create two methods which is play method and pause method so when we click on this the play method should run right so i'll just write play here for now all right and we'll just rename this play button so the id is play button done we change the id next we'll go to this button we'll name it pause then and then we'll change the id to pause button hit enter and on click we'll write pause then so these three things we have created right now we'll go to main activity here inside this first of all we'll create the method which is called play so public void and then play now as the button is a view we'll write view and small view so we'll go back here and alt enter it will just enter the file now open this inside this what we'll do is 
we'll just copy this code I'll cut it from here and paste it here done now when you run the application the play button will work totally fine so if you hit on play the audio will play but if you hit the pause button then the application will crash because we have not given anything to the pause button so we will create another method public void pause and inside that view view then open this now in here we will just type wait a minute now we have to access this one right so for now I'll erase it so what we are going to do is we will need this media player inside this right we want to access it so what we'll do is I'll just copy this and paste it outside the, those both methods and then we'll clear this thing then now here I'll write media player dot pause then now when you hit pause the song will pause but now one more error can occur which is if you just play the audio you can pause it but if you haven't played the audio and hit the pause button the application will crash so what we have to do is we'll just take this thing we we'll cut it from here and we'll paste it inside the on create method so now if you hit pause button when the audio is not playing it won't do anything but it will also not crash the application that's the benefit get it so the code is done I'll just debug it on my mobile phone as my AVD is a little slow. So let's go there. Alright, so we'll just open the application. See the two buttons, play and pause. First of all, I'll hit play. And when I hit pause, it gets paused. Now if I press play once again, it will play again. And pause. So you can play with that and as you can see both the buttons are working absolutely fine so let's go back to the video so this is how you can put audio inside any android application and control it by using the play and pause buttons in the next video i am going to show you how to control the volume of the audio by using the seek bar so consider subscribing to the channel so you'll get notified about the video and yeah if you find this video useful do like it and share it with your friends and thank you for watching the video bye bye